Our saint of the week this time is Saint Hilary of Poitiers, whose feast day is celebrated tomorrow, January 13th. Saint Hilary was immensely important to our faith as he defeated the heresy of the Arians who claimed that Jesus Christ was fully human but not divine. Hilary was born to wealthy pagan nobility parents early in the 4th century and was raised a polytheist, but in his pursuit for truth, he studied and was convinced that there can only be one God. This led him to read the Bible and was converted by the New Testament which fulfilled the promises of God. He entered the church, became a priest, bishop and doctor of the church. Now during his time leading the church in the West, the Arian heresy was at its height with Saint Athanasius defending the faith in the East. Emperor Constantius ordered all the bishops of the West to sign a condemnation of Athanasius, but Hilary refused and was banished from France to far-off Phrygia in modern-day Turkey. In his exile, Hilary studied Greek language and theology and wrote a book about the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. After four years in exile in the East, Hilary was sent back to Gaul, France, where he continued to support the idea of Jesus being fully God and part of the Holy Trinity. Hilary studied the scriptures and wrote about them. He was the first person in the West to explain that God is infinite in his creativity, that Jesus, God's Son, is beauty in God's image, and that the Spirit is God's grace, God's joy. Hilary died in 367 and was proclaimed a doctor of the church in 1851 by Pope Pius IX. Pope Benedict XVI says, Hilary found the starting point for his theological reflection in baptismal faith. Saint Hilary wrote, Jesus has commanded us to baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, that is, in the confession of the author, of the only begotten one, and of the gift. The author of all things is one alone, for one alone is God the Father, from whom all things proceed. And one alone is our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom all things exist. And one alone is the Spirit, a gift in all. In nothing can be found to be lacking so great a fullness, in which the immensity in the Eternal One, the revelation in the image, joy in the gift, converge in the Father, in the Son, and in the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Obtain, O Lord, that I may keep ever faithful to what I have professed in the symbol of my regeneration, when I was baptized in the Father, in the Son, and in the Holy Spirit, that I may worship you, our Father, and with you, your Son, that I may deserve your Holy Spirit, who proceeds from you through your only begotten Son. Amen. You can watch more Saints of the Week on our YouTube channel and subscribe to our daily nuggets at www. Dot redeemforworship.com This daily nugget is brought to you by Redeem for Worship Heroes of the faith Inspire us to live Reflecting God's face Saint of the week Created using Powtoon